What's up y'all, it's me, it's your boy Asmongold, and today I'm going to show you guys how to farm and how I farm the Steam Winnow Preservation Society reputation. Now that's where I am on the map in the grand, and I'm going to be doing a lap around all the way down where my mouse is, and then down where you turn in the items, and then back up to where Dire Hoof is. And what I'm going to be pretty much doing here is killing a ton of Tau books, and uh, also uh, some elephants and a few birds too. But if you guys have ever seen uh, Bambi, the movie, um, if you want to just put uh, the, the scene where they kill Bambi's mother on replay for about, what is this, about almost nine minutes, uh, it's pretty much the same thing as watching this video. Uh, because the Tau books, they're easy to kill. Uh, they don't really do a whole lot of damage. They do do the charge, and that's kind of annoying. But, uh, you know, I figured, I think the Tau books are probably the most efficient way of, uh, of farming. And so people are going to ask, why the fuck are you farming Tau books? What, what's the point here? Uh, they drop Gorian artifacts, and uh, the, the Thorncoat Tau books, the... Um, and they have to be the ones over here. The other ones, uh, the passive Tau books or neutral Tau books, sometimes they don't drop it. See, there's a Gorian artifact. And I'm going to set up a timer here. And we're going to do about, uh, it was like 12 minutes or so to do a full lap around. I died because I did something stupid. And so uh, you're, you guys aren't going to see that, but I just want to let you all know. Um, either way, so I did die. And so it's going to be about a 10 minute clip. And I'm going to get about, uh, I'd say like 1500 reputation in those 10 minutes. And what you're going to be doing here is you just run around to the different packs of Tau books and kill the Tau books. It's really simple. Now, obviously, if you're a skinner, you've got a huge bonus here because you can skin everything. And also, if you have other things that increase the amount of loot you get and everything else like that. But uh, in my opinion, the reason I think this is a little bit better or at least on par with farming rares in the rare groups is uh, because basically you can still kill the rares. I mean, uh, you guys will see in this video, like, you just pretty much do this lap around, and you're going to cover, uh, like, almost every single rare, like, at least seven of the different rares. And so if there's somebody killing the different rares, uh, you can go and get in on that. And also, you can do this at the same time while you're in one of the rare farming groups. As you can see, there's Burgu over there. Okay, I don't know how to pronounce his name. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. Uh, there's Burgu over there, and I'm going to go kill Burgu and then get another 500 reputation. Now, every 20 of these Gorian artifacts that you turn in is going to give you 250 reputation. And so on one pack, you guys just see, I'm getting like almost 20 in just one pack, okay? And so obviously, this is fucking amazing. Um, the Burgu, like sometimes I wait for other people to attack them. What I usually do uh, is I call out that they're up and then other people start killing them. I circle back around. It's probably almost close to dead. And then I just put in the final two hits so I can maximize all of my time. Or the people are just killing the uh, the rares, <clears throat> and so anyway, uh, whenever you start really get making making money and saving time here, there's never you're pulling multiple packs at the same time. Uh, obviously, having the towel book that's uh, the you know that you can like mount up on the towel book and run around, uh, that's going to be like a huge uh, huge time saver here. And um, I, if you fight the birds, I want to tell you guys this: uh, if you fight the birds, they'll stun you, and so watch out for that. Uh, the Kleptos do a knockback. That's why, as I said before. The Talbucks are the easiest things to kill. Uh, as I said, this, the, the charge is kind of annoying. Uh, other than that, um, if you want to take this one pack at a time, obviously it won't be quite as fast, but you will still make a good, a, uh, a, you know, at least you won't die at least. And uh, see, there's where, um, there's, those were the guys that killed me there. And so sometimes you'll pull one of these Iron Hoof Bulls or whatever, or one of the uh, elite ones. Um, sometimes I try and kill them, sometimes I don't. Uh, you guys are going to see what happens, like, because I don't really have any of my other cooldowns up. And so I'm like kind of having a lot of trouble aggroing and fighting all these things just because, you know, I don't really have a lot of cooldowns up and I've got this lead hitting me and, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I've got low health. And so this can be an issue. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm pretty much just going to kill the normal Tau books and then uh, just focus on uh, running away from the bull. But either way, uh, the reason I'm doing this video is I was actually looking on uh, like it's just a couple of different websites and I saw a video uh, linked that was showing that this, uh, another spot in the Negrand which is the um, the Goran guys next to Gagrog the Brutal. Uh, killing them is going to give you 10,000 reputation an hour. Uh, that's bullshit. You're not going to get that much reputation an hour because there's simply not that many of them that respawn. And so uh, if you've ever seen that video, uh, go ahead and give it a thumbs down because it's not true. Uh, also, um, you can kill the wasps that are near uh, Zephthorak. I'm not sure how to pronounce it either. Uh, the large elite wasp. But um, again, uh, they don't respawn as quickly. What's good about this route here is that everything is always going to respawn, and so you're going to have the uh, you're going to be able to maximize your time here. And uh, also, uh, if you want to farm consistently and not have to AFK or something like that, uh, you won't have to do that. And so I said, as, as I said before, I got about uh, about 130 or 150 somewhere in between there 
and I would have gotten even more if I didn't die, as I said before. And uh, this is one place where you really, uh, there's a ton of them, and um, you pretty much, this is what you want to look for, is like just different clusters of them nearby. Apparently they're in twos, I don't know if they're, if there's a male and a female, or, you know, they're just trying to make the game more L LGBT friendly. But either way, it doesn't really make a difference. You know, they still drop Gorian artifacts. And so, like, this is a pretty big pull, but it's not really that big of a deal. Like, obviously, if you're a tank, you're going to have, like, almost no trouble at all doing this. But uh, I don't have my tank spec anymore because I have, like, arms for uh, for, for raiding some, some certain bosses. But either way, um, so this is going to save you a lot of time because, like, the rare spawn groups, um, you can get a lot out of the rare spawn groups. And I'm going to talk about that maybe in another video. But I figured I would make this video now uh, just to show uh, the most effective way of farming these artifacts because I just hate going on online and seeing misinformation. And so I do want to uh, kind of make sure everybody's on the same page here and what to expect. Now, I'm also going to do a lot of turn-ins towards the end of the video here. And so you guys can actually see my reputation going up and uh, my rep bar going up. Now, I don't really have my rep bar up until about like, halfway through because I, I didn't think to put it on there. But uh, either way, point being is that you can obviously make a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of a lot of gains in your rep here really, really fast. And yeah, the elites are not worth killing. And the reason for that is they just they don't they drop basically the same amount of artifacts as the normal ones do. And so unless you're trying to trap them for the savage uh, savage blood or, some, or whatever blood, um, there's not really much of a point in doing it. And uh, here we are, and uh, I'll be turning them in. And as you can see, well, I guess my camera will be there, but I'm getting 250 reputation, 275 actually, because I'm a human, uh, 275 reputation each turn in here. And so I'm doing tons of turn ins. And um, also, uh, if you see little chests, they're like little ogre chests, make sure to loot those because they have more artifacts in them. And they also have an artifact, a specific artifact, a high mall relic that turns in for, I think, 350 reputation. And um, any of the rares that you see nearby, uh, if you see somebody call out a rare and uh, they're engaged with it, it's probably worth your time actually to run over there and kill it because, as I said before, uh, those rares do uh, they do turn in for uh, 500 reputation each and everybody gets the item. And so also you can get a bag that has an experience potion in it and also it has like a complicated wood, which pretty much is a vendor item that sells for a lot. And uh, I also, I just want to say this before I forget, uh, people are saying that you can make 5,000 gold selling complicated wood from farming these things. No, you can't. It's fucking bullshit, too. So if you see somebody else saying that, make sure to rate them down so nobody else uh, falls for the bullshit lie. And uh, anyway, so there are all these different guys. And you also make 30 gold each time. And so, I mean, yeah, it's not really a big deal. But it, you know, it adds up if you're doing it a lot. Now, uh, I would say, as I said before, um, over 5,000 reputation an hour if you're really doing this uh, quickly. And uh, I'd say, in general, four to six uh, would be a good estimate uh, that, that I could give. And the rare farming groups will give pretty much relatively the same, de um, depending. Obviously, it just depends on like spawns and everything like that. But either way, uh, this is the, uh, the best way that I've found to uh, farm this stuff solo if there's not a rep group or anything like that. And, uh, you know, because that is an issue. And um, so anyway, uh, that's how I've been farming. And uh, hopefully this helps you guys. And uh, you guys can uh, get some reputation the same way also. So thanks for watching. And like, comment, subscribe.